Dana. Then Little Niggers. By Agatha Christie. Intro. Agatha Christie. Ten Little Niggers also known as the And Then There Were None is a detective novel written by Agatha Christie, published in the United Kingdom by Collins Crime Club on November 6, 1939. Characters Judge, Lawrence John Wargrave Vera Elizabeth Clarehorn Philip Lombard Emily Caroline Brent General, John Gordon MacArthur Dr. Edward George Armstrong Private Detective, William Henry Bull Prince Nikita Staroloff Butler, Thomas Rogers Cook, Ethel Rogers The Film Eight people receiving a letter signed by an unknown Mr. Owen, inviting them to spend a weekend in a mansion on Berg Island in the Devon region of England. On arrival on the island they discover that Mr. and Mrs. Owen were in tea there, but are attended to by the servants Rogers and his wife, who also didn't he know about Mr. Owen. During the dinner, the guests observe ten little porcelain Indians on the table. After this begins a recording that accuses them of having killed several people in the past. Everyone denies having committed a crime except for Mr. Lombard who claims it was an accident. At that moment they realize that they had been tricked into going to the island. They discover that they can tea leave because the boat that had brought them WOULD and T be back for two days. From that moment on, the guests began to be killed one by one, relating it to the song they had found in their rooms. They also notice that every time someone dies, one of the ten figures disappears. As the number of dead increased, the others realized that the killer could only be one of them. Realizing that the killer didn't T appear when there were more people they decided to stay together. That night Lombard and Vera heard someone wanting to enter their room but the culprit managed to escape. Lombard searched the other rooms and discovered that Armstrong wasn't there. Bill finds the door but thinks it might be a trap so he tells the others to stay inside. The next day Bill seems to see who Mr. Owen was but is crushed to death. Lombard and Vera find Dr. Armstrong by the sea. Lombard decides to fake his death to catch the killer. When Vera returns to the house she finds a gallows in the middle of the room and is amazed to see Judge Lawrence alive. The judge finished committing suicide not before telling her how he had committed each of the murders without being discovered and why. The film finished with Lombard and Vera being able to escape from the island. The End